As soon as we walk out, like a bunch of people kind of bombarded us. They wanted pictures. A couple people were asking me to sign gloves. Like I signed like four or five different gloves from like three or four different fans. Like I get punched in the mouth real quick and kind of get dizzed up. And it's Jorge Masvidal. You shouldn't have talked about my kids. You shouldn't talk about my kids. Yes, I do have a history of knowing this person. I lived with him for two years and we were training partners for eight years. We were very close friends. We literally trained together every single day. We were best friends. Obviously, I just fought this individual two weeks ago in Las Vegas, Nevada for the UFC on their pay-per-view and I beat him easily he chipped my front tooth and knocked it out so the reference to the kids is in our last fight uh, the build-up at the press conference I, I said hey you're a deadbeat dad you don't talk to your kids so I still talk to his ex-wife and his baby mama I'm still close with the family and I, I still like the kids and I was being honest I said the honest truth I know it's fight promotion and anything kind of goes when you're just trying to sell a fight but I said the truth I just said hey why don't you talk to your kids what is that, a Rolex? Yeah, this is a Rolex presidential. Presidential. A day date. Day date. Oyster perpetual. This is uh, Detective Cole with the City of Miami Beach Police Department. This is Detective Gonzalez. We're here at the Miami Beach Police Department. Today's date is 322 of 2022. The time is now 021 hours. I'm speaking with reference to an incident that took place on 321. 2022 at 2250 hours. If you could just raise your right hand for me, sir. Do you solemnly swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth upon oath and affirmation in accordance with the laws of the state of Florida? I do. Okay. You can lower your hand. And uh, are you under the influence of any substance, including medication, that may affect your ability to correctly answer my questions? No. Okay. So if you could just break down what happened today. I know you were at a restaurant. You were leaving the restaurant. If you could just run through what happened once you left the restaurant. So I was eating inside Poppy Steakhouse with my friend Cal Forgard, who's the main guy for the Nelt Boys, and then another guy named Bob Mennery, who's a super famous personality. He used to be the voiceover for Buffalo Wild Wings, so he has a big platform and a big thing. And they put up a story post, you know, that we were hanging out together, but we didn't post where we were, but I could see that it's easy to easy to identify the background of where we were you see the flowers you see all the extravagant stuff that is at poppy steakhouse so we decided we're going to leave poppy and we're going to go to swan to to go meet up with some some people over there some friends and we're sitting outside and as soon as we walk out like a bunch of people kind of bombarded us they wanted pictures a couple people were asking me to sign gloves like i signed like four or five different gloves from like three or four different fans and we were there for probably like three to five minutes right outside poppy steakhouse and then we're like, hey, let's go. Let's get out of here. It's time to go. As soon as we're about to walk across the street, I get sideswiped from the from the side. Like I get punched in the mouth real quick and kind of get dizzed up. I look up and I see I see who it is. I can see in his eyes. It's Jorge Masvidal. I can see his hair coming out of his uh, hoodie. But he has a face mask on, a surgical face mask. But he's saying, you shouldn't have fucking talked about my kids. You shouldn't have fucking talked about my kids. So I was e easily able to identify, like, that's his voice. That's his eyes. That's his hair. I know exactly who that is and, and he took two quick punches to me like it happened so fast when we were crossing the street to go to my car to leave to go to the next place that he came from the side and bomb bomb took two fast clips at me and then like we're like squared up and I'm like getting him off of me because I he's with like a couple people and there was like one bigger guy that had his, his uh, fist clenched and he was going to come at me but I was able to get away from George run back in Poppy Steakhouse he followed me back into Poppy Steakhouse. He opened it, but there was a, a couple of security guards at Poppy Steakhouse in the front. They're like, no, you can't come in. Get out. I went behind the bar. I called uh, the police station, and, and I waited for you guys' arrival. All right, so backing up, um, you said that you were certain that it's Jorge Masvidal. And how is it that you're able to determine that? Do you have a history of knowing this person? And if you do, if you could explain how long and, and stuff like that. So, yes, I do have a history of knowing this person because I live with him for two years and we were training partners for eight years so we were very close friends we literally trained together every single day we were best friends obviously i just fought this individual two weeks ago in las vegas nevada for the ufc on their pay-per-view and i beat him easily and so i know exactly what he looks like his eyes his hair and so his a, voice he's a very familiar person to you someone you've dealt with numerous times in the past and you said that he punched you uh, two times did you suffer an injury I mean I definitely suffered the injury to my tooth he chipped my front tooth and knocked it out and I mean I, I, I'm the adrenaline's still kind of going right now but he definitely rocked me I saw stars a little bit but I stayed on my feet and I was like just I was just trying to get to safety that's all I was concerned about okay and did you see um, if he got into any vehicle or anything like that when he when he left I wasn't able to see if he got into any vehicle because I ran into the steakhouse and he followed me kind of that way, so I just stayed in the steakhouse. And, and 
was so you said he was wearing a, a, a surgical mask if you could just yep. describe the clothing that you remember I know that you got struck but if you could just go over the clothing um, that you do remember that he was wearing yeah he was definitely wearing a sweater I don't know what type of sweater it was it was either gray or black and then he was definitely wearing like some sweats and he had his hoodie on he had the surgical mask on but and I think he maybe had like a hat on but I could clearly see his eyes and I could clearly see his long curly hair, which he always has long curly hair now. He only braids it when he fights. So yeah, I could just automatically tell by his brown eyes, his long brown curly hair and his voice saying, okay. yeah, you shouldn't talk to all my kids. You shouldn't talk to all my kids. All right. Yeah, the thing with the kids, what, what is that reference on that? If you can explain, because you may know more than us what yeah. that refers to, right? So the reference to the kids is in our last fight, uh, the build up at the press conference I, I said hey you're a deadbeat dad you don't talk to your kids you know because okay. I have a relationship with his kids as well because we were that close of friends so I still talk to his ex-wife and his baby mama yeah. a woman named Maritza so I'm I'm still close with the family and I, I still like the kids and I was being honest I said the honest truth I know it's fight promotion and anything kind of goes when you're just trying to sell a fight but I said the truth I just said hey why don't you talk to your kids you know why are you a deadbeat father and that was before the fight during the press conference that was before the fight and during the press conference okay. of the fight. Okay. And you think he's just taking, you know, he's re retaliating against you because of that? Yeah, for sure. Okay. okay, um, if you could just go ahead and when you do get your tooth fixed, provide me with the medical records, um, you know, bills, that sort of stuff. Okay. That's it. All what right. about for the watch too? Because oh, like, oh, I mean, okay. so no, I mean, he did suffer he damage did, to your. There's definitely some some scuffs on here on my watch, and this is like. Brand new, pretty much. There's the watch. Okay. You can see like the yeah. scratches right there. What is that? A Rolex? Yeah, this is a Rolex presidential. Presidential. A day date. Day date. Oyster perpetual. All right, so yeah, if you could provide me with the documentation for that, if you get it repaired okay. or, or whatever, you're, you're gonna get it uh, buffed up, probably. Yeah, right? I'm gonna have to get it buffed up. All right. Something. Okay. Is there anything that I haven't asked you that you'd like to add to the, this statement? I mean, I think that's pretty much it. Just walked outside. He was obviously waiting. Ran up on me, took two quick punches, gra grabbing my head, two quick punches, and just screaming at me and looking me in the eyes, telling me you should have talked about my kids. I spoke to the, uh, the the officer doing the report. He said that there was a person with you that they took information from. Yeah. You mentioned his name now. Was it what was his name? So that was Bob Mennery. Mennery. He there was you walking. Go. You think he was uh, will be able to identify? I mean, he, he recognized who he was on the scene. He recognized who okay, he was. Okay, so there's a witness. There's okay. that witness, and then there's also uh, another witness, a guy that was walking his dog on the side of the road. His name was uh, Adam Weiss, and I have his number if you guys would like it. Do you know if the officers got it? I don't, I don't think that officer's no? got his okay. number. What is it? Adam Weiss. Okay. And then if you need another witness, also my friend Kyle Forgard was there. He's the owner of Nelk Boys, the famous YouTube podcaster, like the biggest podcast in the world right now. Mm -hmm. So he, he saw everything that was going on too. And you provided that information to the officers as far as Kyle uh, Nelk? I don't think Kyle, but Bob Menry for sure. Okay. I, he got provided all right, let me get Kyle's information then. If okay, I don't have his. I don't have his number. I have his Instagram, but I'll ask Bob. He might have it. Okay, that's fine. When you get that information, just go ahead and provide it to me. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and conclude this uh, recorded statement now at zero zero twenty eight hours. All right, now for the record, we are providing a single picture to a Mr. Uh, are you able to recognize this person on the picture here? Yes, I am able to recognize that that is Jorge Masvidal. Okay, could you just sign next to it and date it, please? It's uh, March 22nd right now. March 22nd? Yeah. And just put here next to it who this person is, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Interview again concluded at 033 hours.